The presidential debates. A chance to see the candidates battle it out live. I have to respond. If you'd like to respond, Mr. Trump. First of all, if you noticed, he didn't answer your question. Let's check That's the, the height of silliness. Let, you're wrong, I, Mr. Uh, no, I am not you're wrong. wrong. He had no trouble at all going to Wall Street. Let me, let, me talk, let me talk. Quiet. You may not realize that debates were a made-for-TV event and didn't exist before 1960. That year, it was a face-off between John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon. JFK was made for television. Nixon, on the other hand, didn't understand the importance of his appearance. He famously looked so bad that one viewer said, they've embalmed him before he even died. The result? People who listened on the radio thought Nixon won. But to the television audiences, Kennedy was the clear winner. It was an event that changed everything. From that moment on, candidates had to be camera ready. Still, there wouldn't be another televised presidential debate for 16 years. And when there was, it wasn't really worth the wait. There are noises coming from the Walnut Street Theater, but they are not noises from either Governor Jimmy Carter or President Gerald Ford. Since then, watching competing political candidates has become blockbuster TV. Viewers tune in to get informed, make up their mind, or maybe they're just waiting for the missteps. There is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe. Man's practicing fuzzy math again. There's differences. Or perhaps it's the quips like when it was suggested that Reagan had grown too old to continue as president. I am not going to exploit, for political purposes, my opponent's youth and inexperience. It was a hit, and some say sealed the deal.